her file. That new evidence in a widely publicized Jacksonville murder case. Crime scene photos, an autopsy report, and 911 calls give us a better idea of what happened in November when police say 17-year-old Jordan Davis was shot and killed at a Southside gas station. Michael Dunn is charged with murder. Dunn admitted to firing his weapon, but said he did it in self-defense after he says he was threatened by the teens. Channel 4's Vic Michelucci has been going through the evidence and joins us live from the state attorney's office. Vic? Mary, the evidence shows that Michael Dunn fired at least nine shots into the side of the SUV that Jordan Davis was riding in, and at least three of those bullets hit the teen, one of those killing him. Like pop, 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 pop. As shots rang out, the 911 calls poured in. We now know it was a gate gas station employee who saw Michael Dunn's car speed away and gave police that valuable information. The person firing has left, but we did get a license number. The person in the uh, that was driving the vehicle was the one shooting out of the vehicle at somebody else, but we don't know what happened. And then comes the frantic call from Tevin Thompson, one of the teens in the car with Jordan Davis. Somebody's been shot. Where at? Uh, the big gas station on Big Meadows Road in Southside. Who shot him? Uh, we have no idea. Please, can you bring help, please, now? These are just some of the emergency calls made that November night, which are now evidence in the state attorney's case against Michael Dunn, a man whom police arrested a day later at his home in Brevard County. Crime scene photos show that red SUV Davis was riding in riddled with bullet holes. We can count nine in this photo. These orange sticks show trajectory and where several bullets entered the back seat. This autopsy report is also part of the evidence just released to us. Doctors say Jordan Davis got shot three times, once in the abdomen and chest, and in both his right and left thigh. The bullet in his torso went to his heart and major arteries. Incredibly, no one else in the vehicle was hit. You know, as they're running away from, from you know, 10 bullet shots total, nine which struck the vehicle, they're, you know, he's, he's hitting them. That's not staying your ground, okay? Um, and it's, it's, it just, it's why we filed a defamation lawsuit. Attorney John Phillips is representing Jordan Davis's family in a civil suit against Michael Dunn. He says while Dunn may claim self-defense and look for immunity under Florida's Stand Your Ground law, he believes the evidence will prove this was murder. As the boys are literally fleeing for their lives, he's still shooting. Michael Dunn remains in jail this evening on first-degree murder charges. I did reach out to his attorney, Corey Strola, this morning, but so far have not heard back. I wanted to hear a comment on their side of the story, but I'm still awaiting that. Live at the state attorney's office downtown, Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. And if you'd like to listen to the 911 calls or look at the crime scene photos, we've posted this evidence on our web channel, news4jax.com. Just look under top stories on our homepage. There you can also read the reports we've done on this case in the past.